Uh, uh, remember this gainer? Anyway, we're starting our Saturday off with some uh, podcasty knowledge. I think it's in the sevens, in the sevens AM. I've been a little bit lazy this morning. It is what it is, but now I'm realizing it's time to get up and work hard and go live another day. So I guess I'm gonna get up, work hard, and go live another day, but like, ugh. Yeah, it's 7.05. I'm not in a get up and live another day mood, but that's okay. I'm sure we're, I'll figure it out. All right, interwebs. We're starting the day off with some bikes and some boochas. We got Island Hopper with us. Uh, pretty much like, it's impossible to have a bad mood when you exercise. It just fixes any bad mood. So even if I was like cranky and moody in the morning, once you exercise a while, kind of wake up and it's like, okay, I'm ready. Okay, turns out there's a little bit more to producing a podcast than I thought. So yeah, we're actually gonna have to do some background research into how to actually use this new studio. As I'm doing more and more things in my life, I'm beginning to realize Adobe Creative Cloud Suite is just, it has so many good things. And it's a big company and they keep making really good things and you just have to pay one subscription fee to them to get Creative Cloud access, which is kind of the business model a lot of the tech companies are going on these days because they just have so much good stuff available. So this is part of the reason we are in grad school. Student discounts for softwares are nice. All right, internet, we have been, uh, what would you say, humbled by free throws. Just the process of making like more than 10 of them consistently. Holy cow, difficult stuff, at least for us today. But Junior taught us this new warm up program where you go from the, the line and you do, he said do like 20 each. Well, 20 switches with your main hand and then 20 makes with your off hand. Um, I can't get to 20 without losing my sanity. So I try to do three. Because we're, we're a baby beginner at this thing. But the idea is training your body in a multiple faceted approach in attempts of being a holistic, well-rounded athlete. All right, we've hit our max time of nerd consumption. Uh, there is a lot to learn about audio formats. The good news is, is we've already been making YouTube videos for so many years that we know a little bit of the basics around using editing software already and kind of know how to film stuff already. So this actually will be a nice or upgrade to not only our vlog content, but it'll help make everything from still learning higher quality. That's good. All right, welcome to the team, young man Grayson. Psych, he's an old man Grayson, but he's he's just a young pup. All right, hey, chill, hey, Grayson. Let me take your thing off so you can just, hey, hey, chill, buddy. Chill, 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 chill. Two seconds, two seconds, just chill. There you go. Now you can explore. Yeah, this place is cool, huh? We're gonna make a podcast here, buddy. So I think we can make it using software instead of hardware. So the old strategy for having high quality podcasts was to have really nice microphones. Hmm. That's the engineering route. The comp side route would be to have good software, good computers. So AI revolution going on. We're gonna try to use software to make it easier to produce the high quality production you're used to hearing from a high quality podcast. Oh my gosh, Grayson, you can't eat those tennis balls. Those are live workers. We nested those and we are ready to go. So we'll hit create multi-cam edits and it begins. So we'll watch it in real time, see how long it takes and see how well it does it. Oh, and there it goes. We're off. Look at that, folks. That is AI in action. Why you should right, podcasting? So we Think are back. Like, when someone's reading a blog, Jason, they, how are you feeling, buddy? Okay, the we're getting uh, the system you down for how we're going to start producing a podcast. Not just a podcast, but any podcast. So really, it's like the job of the the nerds is to build the systems that then the creative people can just kind of step into and like do their thing but it kind of takes some pre-thought and planning on the nerds end to get everything set nice so that's that's what we're doing right now um, i guess there's more efficient ways to probably set all this up but since i want to make sure that these podcasts are at a professional level i'm taking the time to scour what everybody else is already doing first and consume all of their teachings or a lot of their teachings so that way i don't have to read the wheel i can just copy what's already working really nice oh, they can be working out and you could be in there
All right, what's goody interwebs? This is the final uh, exit of today. It's a crazy time in the universe uh, right now. Like, like, geez, I don't even know what to say because like we're living in it right now. It's not like, it's just crazy. This is, remember how in the 19th century, in the 1920s, there was like the industrial revolution and it was like the roaring 20s. Holy, f this century, 20s, is going to be so much crazier than the 1920s, the 2020s. Holy cow, people. It's only 2023. We have seven years left of this decade. It's going to, I'll see you tomorrow. It's, it's too exciting. It's on balance sheet. So the Federal Reserve is just kind of going bankrupt now. So let's talk about Bitcoin here. Check out the price action currently around 27,000. Now we can see some resistance here, actually a psychological threshold. If we happen to break 30,000 here, then the next target may be around 40,000 or so. Taking a look at Ethereum though, we can see that the ETH BTC chart, Ethereum has been plummeting actually. So what's really happening is Bitcoin is starting to decouple from the rest of cryptocurrency. And this goes back to my original thesis. I mentioned this several videos ago about how a lot of the cryptocurrency coins are kind of spiraling up into Bitcoin as all the other crypto coins kind of fade out. You know, people are realizing a lot of these other coins, they're just, they're not very useful. And Bitcoin is kind of one of the only stores of value out there. And especially with the Shanghai upgrade coming in, which a lot of the staked Ethereum is going to be unstaked, we can see some flooding of these Ethereum onto the market, causing the price to drop even more. 